Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mart channel. Today we are watching One Piece episodes 355 and 356. Uh, in the last episodes, oh man, what a reveal we got. What a reveal we got. Uh, great episodes the last time. I am so excited now. We got the reveal that Brooke uh, is actually a member of the crew that left Laboon uh, at the the capes as you enter the Grand Line. They left Laboon there with Crocus and he has been lost, like the, he, he lost the rest of his crew and he himself has been lost in this place for like 50 years. So, oh man, like getting that reveal in that episode, like when, when he said the name Laboon to Frankie, when he was describing it, because I was already, like, I was feeling the story, I was like, right, okay, here we go, some Brooke backstory, this is great, let's do this, I'm like, oh, it's going to be sad, One Piece backstory is always going to be sad, I was getting into it, but when that name got dropped, man, you just, you could see the kind of, like, you know, the, the pin dropping <laughs> in my head, and I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe that that is a connection that's been made from so long back in the series. It is insane, right? Masterful storytelling by Oda. Just, and I cannot wait now. I absolutely cannot wait for the interaction between like Luffy and Brooke because Robin and Frankie never met Laboon. So they couldn't say to him, oh, we know that he's still waiting there. Like we met him. We, we didn't get that. So, but they told the rest of the crew and I love the fact that the people that were there you got their reaction. So like Luffy, Usopp, uh, Zoro and Sanji, they all experienced that they were there. Uh, Nami was as well, but she didn't hear the news because, oh God, she's been kidnapped by Absalom, which I, I wish wasn't a story, but that's where we are. So I'm thinking what's going to happen there, like Sanji's losing the nut about that. He's going to probably go up against Absalom. Hopefully that gets resolved quickly right but right now we're about to make our counter attack uh, on thriller bark we know how the powers work we know how a uh, like the shadows kind of like moria's shadow ability works now and what the weaknesses of these zombies are we know it's salt thanks to brook so we're now going for it so that's what i'm hoping for i want to see the interaction i want luffy to meet brook and tell him about laboon to see what his reaction to that is, I want, obviously, Sanji to get Nami back, and just, like, yeah, just hopefully, we're able to take down Moria, and just get everybody's shadows back, and then when we get Brook's shadow back, he can join the crew, he can join the crew, become the musician, and then he can come with us, and, like, uh, keep his promise to Laboon, happy days, happy days all round, guys, so, that's where we are. Hopefully we get some of those things in these episodes here. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, everyone that has come back, watches all the videos, likes and comments on them. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get straight in here. Episode 355. Let's do it. Oh yeah. and <laughs> I forgot about, I forgot about oars. <laughs> I got so excited with all the with all the Brook and Laboon stuff, I forgot that uh, Luffy Shadow's in this thing and it's, you know, just going to be running around causing havoc by the looks of it. Why did Ors have such a free spirit? You took the shadow from Luffy, so that was your own fault. You made that mistake. You should have a better, like, vetting process to see who you're taking these shadows from. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a size reference. Okay, so he's much, much bigger than a normal giant. Like he, he dwarfed a uh, Oimo and Kashi there. That's insane. Give me a search for the zombies. He's he's going for Moria. Yeah, it's Luffy's strategy every arc, guys. Come on, come on. Grandpa zombie. Oh, the old, is he, he's not a zombie, Luffy. He was an old man. <laughs> Take out Gecko Moria. Yeah. Luffy Strat. Just, I know who the main bad guy is. I need to go and fight them. Leave me to it. Don't get in my way. 
I'm going to kick Moria's butt. Yes. Another Warlord fight. Let's do it. Sanji, you're in charge of it. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, exactly. You don't need to motivate him to be in charge of that. He's... He's off. I feel bad about letting Nami get pushed away right before my eyes. Okay, you saw. Okay. <laughs> you still got that nice balance there. Frankie. Yes. Brooks. Brooks story touched Frankie. Oh, Zoro going with Frankie? I knew it. Zoro versus a uh, Ryuma, that's happening. For you guys. Just to back. Oh, is that salt? Special zombie. Salt ball. Oh, was that what Usopp was making when he was grinding the stuff? Nice, Usopp. Nice. Oh, this bloody vampire was listening the whole time, man. They didn't notice him. Well, to be fair, like, they, they, there's nothing really you can tell them. <laughs> it's so weird to hear, like, you, you know, this is stuff like Luffy would do and say coming from, <laughs> coming from this guy. And it's like, when it showed you how big he was, it's crazy looking at this ship from that context. Just to show how, like, this must be the biggest ship in One Piece, surely. There can't be a ship bigger than this. Unless, like, when Water 7 gets made into one, like, uh, Iceberg's trying to do, maybe. We're able to steal shadows from stronger pirates. Right, okay, so that's, he's trying to... Right, okay. So he wants to take shadows from the likes of somebody like Shanks or something like that. You know? They want to work their way up. Oh no, I don't want I don't wanna see where Absalom is. It's wedding ceremony. Okay, I don't wanna see that, but that's bad news for Sanji if all those generals are there. And it's just Sanji and Usopp that's going? Is that who's just going there themselves? Please give me command over two zombies. Okay. God, the voice. The voice. <laughs> right. Oh. Sanji and Zoro is zombies. Of course. Of course that's the ones he's picking. Sanji and Luffy are on a rampage. Yeah. <laughs> We're Robin. Robin's just... Like, Robin now, I love that Robin's just part of the crew now. She just vibes with everything that's happening, regardless of the danger. She's just like, yeah, I've found my place. I don't care. Like, this is just... We're having a good time. Takes me off how these weaklings managed to... <laughs> yeah. Zoro's pride's been damaged by that. You're willing to adore me for setting you free. Like you call me bro. <laughs> he likes to be called bro. Oh yeah, how are we going to deal with these ghosts? I didn't think about that. Like how... Yeah, how do you defeat this power? Like, we know how to... Uh... We know how to beat the zombies, but like, how do you, how do you deal with these things? Oh, yeah, it's up, come on. Good, get them, move. But they, like, that's what I say, these ghosts seem OP if they can take them down just by touching them. Oh, no. Oh, please, come on, guys, we need to think of something... Where's he? Is that where we are? Is that where we were just running? Okay. Okay, please tell me that he done it to separate us from the zombies. 
and not before we went through there. Oh no, so we're all falling. Okay, I thought maybe. Oh no. Okay, so Sanji and Usopp didn't make it. Just you guys go. You guys go. They'll be fine. <laughs> My legs twitching. Oh, good. That's good. They they they're with Frankie and Zoro. They'll be fine. What? Oh, is that ours? They think it's a wall. <laughs> Oh, Zoro. Oh, no, Zoro. Don't. Don't stab it. Don't stab it. Oh, no, Frankie. Don't shoot it. Oh, no, guys. Don't. Don't piss it off. Yeah. Usopp. Oh, they don't. Yeah, these two don't know. Tell them. That's right. That's right. Zoro, you were saying that size and strength don't matter. Look, look at this. <laughs> What's your plan here? They need to get salt in its mouth. Right, okay, so already the plan is in shambles because we've we've been separated into two groups by the looks of it. I, it's not looking great. Um obviously I think that the, the first obstacle is gonna be a from the looks of it, it's gonna be Perona. And these ghosts. So how do we combat that? How do we combat that? Do we just do we need to avoid the ghosts, take down Perona, so she can't use the ghosts? Like there must be, there must be something. Like it seems like such an OP ability. I mean, what happens if? She goes up against somebody like really powerful. Like she could bring them to their knees with this, with these ghosts. Like, how do you combat it? There must be something. There must be something we can do to beat these ghosts, right? I, I'm hoping so because like it's just, it seems like such a strange and the the thing about One Piece is there's always always and that's what I like about it. It's like nice way of like Oda doesn't give like people too much like stacked abilities without there being consequences. Right? Like even Luffy's new techniques that he, you know, second gear, third gear, there's drawbacks to using those. I uh, whether they be immediate or you know, takes its toll. The same with like Blackbeard, who has like one of the most insane abilities in the series, he has the drawback you know, that obviously he can't, he can't, like, he's, he's a logia, but he can't become, like, the element, like, let's say Ace can become fire. Uh, Blackbeard can't materialise his body into, like, darkness. He can control darkness, but he can't become darkness. And because he, abs darkness absorbs everything, he takes in, ev like, a normal punch, like, you and I would feel, he feels it, like, so much harder because he absorbs, like, everything and he just, he takes in so much more pain for this OP ability. And I like that. I like that there always seems to be, like, a, right, you know, you need to take the rough with the smooth. Like, you, if you want this OP ability, this is the drawback that comes with it, right? So I feel like there's going to be something we can do to... Defeat Perona. There's going to be some kind of weakness in this ability, right? Um, in terms of like, I'm I'm sad that we didn't get to see any Brook. I because like last episode we saw that he has like obviously he's got the determination now. He's going up against uh, Ryuma, but I love the fact that Zoro is heading there. Zoro is going to take on this legendary samurai, and I know what's going to happen. Right, I know what's gonna happen, it has to happen because that Ryuma sword looks badass. Right, Zoro is a sword down right now, Zoro only has two swords uh, because of what happened at Annie's lobby. So, Zoro is taking that sword from a legendary samurai, he's got to. It looks awesome, probably the best designed sword I've seen in One Piece so far. I think it looks great, right. Uh, so, this is where we are. Like, I don't know if... 
are we going to fight Ors here? Is that what's going to happen? Are we going to have to fight this thing? Like, how do we fight it? How do you fight this giant? Because, like, when it... It was nice that they gave me a bit of context when they showed the, the kind of scale of Oimo and Kashi on each other's shoulders next to Ors. It's ridiculous, right? I knew he was much bigger than, like, a normal giant, but that is insane. So, like, a normal giant's, like, the size of his leg. Or maybe not even that, right? That's mental. So, how, how would you fight that? Like, that's not, I don't think that's something we can handle right now. I think Luffy's right. I think Luffy's got the right strat. Moria is the one we take down. You get to Moria, you beat him, and, you know, like, I think, I think the whole purpose of Oars is that kind of, like, horry, horry, horry? horror movie monster where it's like right we need to avoid this we need to avoid this thing it's going to cause havoc we need to just stay out of its way we need to avoid oars long enough for luffy to take down moria and get everybody's shadows back because i don't think that's a fight we want any part of um unless it's like for us to think of a strategy in order to get oars to you know eat salt that could be a plan. Because we saw, obviously, I think that that joke with the fish is probably going to come back, where that's how we'll probably defeat Oars. We'll get him to eat something with salt on it. Because he's got Luffy's personality, he's going to want to eat everything. So get some salt on something, feed it to him, we're golden. So, yeah, that's it. Let's get into the next episode, guys. See where we're going to go next. Uh, episode 356. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Hog back. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this will be Chopper's fight. He's got a bone to pick with Hog back. Because he, he respected him very much. And he turned out to be not a great person. Is she going to fight us with plates? Wow. Okay. But can she actually fight or is she just throwing plates at us? You know. Oh yeah, Robin's here. Uh, yeah, some zombie throwing plates. Robin's here. Luffy, carry on. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, idiot. Disappointed me. Tell him, Chopper. Oh God, this laugh. <laughs> Oh, he didn't recognise Chopper. Ah, oh, because he was in his reindeer form. Or, like, actual reindeer form. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Doesn't he have Zoro and uh, Sanji's zombies there? Oh, okay, here we go. Right. Okay, so Robin and Chopper going up against Zoro and Sanji's. Zombies? Oh my. Okay. That's. Yeah, okay. I was thinking about this here. Sanji's zombie is not going to attack Robin and will probably try and protect her. So I think we're going to be good here. If he's here. Is he still here? Oh yeah, okay. I can, never, I can never get used to the proportions of this man. Like, it's crazy, the actual size of him. I mean, look, look at that. That's, and he's, is he, is he a giant? I don't know, like, what is Moria meant to be? Is he a different race? Oh, okay. Is he going to throw... Oh, I forget. It's Luffy's shadow. I like. Why am I being surprised by him acting like this? He's a, I think it's a pirate hat. I mean, come on. What? <laughs> like, it's Luffy's personality in this thing. I, we need to just accept that he's going to be doing stupid stuff. We can switch this path the bridge here. Oh yeah, so what's the what's the route we take now? 
Ah, oh, so they can't they can't jump it. Oh god, are they gonna throw this up? <laughs> Frankie? Oh, is Frankie building us? Wow. Wow. Okay, that's a very... <laughs> Whoa. That's an insane bridge to be built in that time. Look at that. Okay. That's... <laughs> Frankie. Yeah. A great addition to the crew. I mean, come on. Oh, no. Oh, they're in... That's Perona's room. Okay. And it's the four, like the four of us. Surely, we can we can think of a way to take her down. Oh crap! Devil fruit, guys. Devil fruit. Come on. Attack her quick! Oh my god, the laughs, the laughs in this arc are insane. <laughs> yeah, Zoro, you've experienced it. Like, I think you all have at this point, haven't you? Eating the hollow hollow fruit, I am incorporal human. Oh! Okay! Hmm. <laughs> Sanjay, dude. Guys, yeah, he's gonna be of no use here. Let, just leave him. Leave him there. Okay, they're making a tactical retreat. At least they understand the severity of these like ghosts. So, Zoro, why aren't you running, buddy? Like, probably his pride. Probably his pride, that. Oh, I don't like her smugness about it. Sandy's been hit with this a couple of times. It is funny. It is funny, like the stuff they come out with. But guys, I we we need to we need to take this woman down. Ah, oh, she's being so cocky about it. Like I am. Uh, Usopp. Is Usopp found a way? To that was, oh, okay, come on, Usopp. Look, he just purified all of them. What did you do, Usopp? Okay. He pretended to be, oh, he faked them out. Nice, Usopp. Yeah, oh. what are you going to do now? Like, can you do like a sneak attack like that again? Uh, what's up? Oh, that one. That one definitely got him. That one definitely hit him. What's up? What? Yeah, wh wait a minute. What? What's happening? Is what's up? I didn't do anything to counter it. Come on, man. So, is... <laughs> they can't make him... That it balances out. So, because he's... <laughs> I... <laughs> well, well done, or so. Like, it's... Oh, that's a way to... That's a way to win it. <laughs> People are alive. That alone should be enough to keep us looking forward with hope. <laughs> Is up? Poor, poor Is up. I mean, I'm happy that he's hanging there. What? They feel sorry for them when they're cheering them on. 
because he's so now negative. Usopp, Usopp is the one standing strong, telling these three, snap out of that. Powerless before this chick. <laughs> Usopp. <laughs> Come on, Usopp. You seem so dependable, yeah? You three don't stand a chance. Get out of here. This is, this is all Usopp. Do, do, yeah, like, I don't want to be too cocky here, guys. Help me out a little bit. <laughs> don't what Usopp, you've got this. You've got this, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Oh. No. Oh, God, no. Go back to Usopp, please. This is... Oh my god, they're holding her. Oh my god, this is in this is an insane storyline we're going through here. Oh no, 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 no. Sanji, Sanji. No, Sanji, get through these doors now. Get this creep away. No, Sanji, I'm begging you, buddy. Oh, why end it on that? Right, okay. Enjoyable episodes, except for that part at the end there. Um, <laughs> you know, I like that we're kind of like, we're, we're matching up. Now, that was hilarious with Usopp. You know, Usopp being... <laughs> Usopp being immune to these ghosts. Because he is, like, he's already negative. So it's that way where it kind of, like, embarrasses. <laughs> oh, I love that. So the weakness of these ghosts, it turns out, is the personality of the person that, you know, they are, they're going after. So if they, <laughs> if they, if they aren't, like, a naturally positive person that can be brought down, then it kind of negates the effect of them. That's... <laughs> I love that. I love that, like, Usopp's like, right. Like, you've got three really strong crew members there with him, and he's like, right, you guys are useless here, right? Bef in front of this woman's power, like, you guys can't do nothing. I'm I'm the man here, right? Okay. Let me, ha I love that he said this chick. Like, let me handle this chick, guys, okay? You get out of here. Usopp, he's got it. He's got it. That's great. I, that, I like that that's a... F I didn't expect that to be a fight. I didn't expect Usopp to be the one going up against Perona, but I'm all here for it. You know, I, I am looking forward to that, right? I, I, I... And again, like, Chopper and Robin going up against Sanji and Zoro's zombies. I thought it was going to be like they were going to match up against their own zombies kind of thing, but yeah, this is great. You know, because it looks like what's going to happen now... Because I thought it was a bit off with, like, the, like, who the matchups were going to be. But it looks like now it's going to be, a, obviously, Chopper and Robin against Zoro and Sanji zombies and, like, Hogback. A, Usopp against Perona. Luffy against Moria. A, Zoro's going to fight Ryuma. Definitely. Sanji's going to fight Absalom. I don't know about Frankie. I don't know who's kind of left for Frankie. I just want Nami to get out of there. Like, I, it's insane that this is like a storyline that's happening. Do you know what it reminds me? It's just, like, it seems like... I remember when I was young and I used to watch uh, the WWF, like the wrestling, right? And I remember there being such a tone-deaf storyline that I, like, even when I was young, I couldn't believe was an actual thing where Triple H <laughs> one of the wrestlers like drugged a like Stephanie McMahon like the, the daughter of Vince McMahon like the head of the company and then took her to like 
Las Vegas, and essentially did what they're doing here, where they like he like mimicked her, but she's unconscious, and he like married her while she was like unconscious. It's and like I couldn't believe that it was a thing, and I still can't believe that that is something that they did. You know, I was like, that's insane that they got away with that. Like, even even back then, I was like, wow, that's crazy, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I just, I, like, it, it made me think of that. When I was, it brought me back to that place of being young and being like... And I think that even if I watched this these episodes when I was young of One Piece, I, I would be like the same. I'd be like, wow, are we doing this? Like, is this a thing that's happening? I just, I understand that a lot of it's meant to be like comedic effect but it's not it's not hitting for me i'm just kind of like i just want this absalom guy not to be on screen like i just want like hopefully this, this gets resolved quickly like I, I want sanji to get there i would be happy if this was like the first thing that got wrapped up like just get sanji into this church or whatever it is beat up absalom get nami back be done with this right just be done with this. Uh, obviously, like I think that we're going to build to the Luffy Moria fight. How how is this ability going? To, so, like, if we if we knock out Moria, like if if Luffy beats him up to the point, and just get, he's out cold. Will that send everybody's shadows back to their original owners. I think that's what they're betting on. I think they're betting on the fact that if they take down Moria, they don't need to worry about going around and purifying every single zombie with salt. Like, if hopefully if they take it out at the source, then we're good to go, right? Uh, obviously, I, it looks like Zoro is going to fight Ryuma, hopefully. That's something I want to see because he's like an ancient legendary samurai from like the New World. That's a worthy opponent for Zoro. And that sword, I'll take that. And I think what the thing is going to be is like, I know that the New World is meant to be like the last area of the Grand Line where all like the strongest people are. A... And, like, this samurai is, like, a legendary figure. But I think what's probably... Like, I don't know if Zoro would be able to defeat him. If it was the actual samurai. Like, the actual legendary samurai. But we need to remember, it's not the actual samurai. It's the samurai's body, but it's Brook's techniques and Brook's abilities. So, you know, as a swordsman... I think, you know, I don't think Zoro would have much problems against Brook. I think Brook is, like, his abilities are awesome. I think he is strong, but it's quite clear that, you know, he can't beat this guy with his abilities. Like, this body with his abilities. I think Zoro, a better matchup for him there. Like, I think that, you know, he is, he is the, like... Brooks more finesse with his techniques, I think. Like the way he uses his sword, the way he does things. Zoro is that kind of, you know, brute, you know, like, I'm I'm taking you down. You're going down. You know, Zoro has all these techniques. He doesn't have his free swords. He doesn't have his free swords. So he doesn't have all of his abilities. But, you know, two sword style Zoro going up against a legendary samurai. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Now, I think that... The what's going to happen is because like Zoro's a uh, zombie asked Sanji's zombie, Who do you want to take down first? and he said, The reindeer. Obviously, he's going to answer the reindeer because what's going to happen there is it's going to be the same situation as what happened with Nami. Like, the penguin's not going to want to hit Robin, and when Zoro's a uh, zombie tries to go after Robin they'll probably start fighting. And then it'll just be like in, you know, 
like with the normal guys on the crew, these two are going to be at odds and these two zombies are going to start fighting. That's what's going to happen there, right? No doubt about it. Uh, Chopper is going to have to take down Hog back to kind of get, would you say revenge? Probably just like justification for like the person he'd kind of built up in his mind turning out to not really be like the idol that he thought he was. Which is a kind of like, that. that is, you know, it's, it's a nice little resolution for Chopper kind of to be like, right, okay, you know, I really idolised this person. Turns out he's not a great person. Turns out he's doing some really shady stuff. And, you know, it just, it feels like it should be Chopper that takes him down. You know, because he's the only one that has like an actual, like, if you could call it a connection to him, maybe not, but like, has history or at least that kind of respect and you know it like i said he built something up in his head of who he thought this person was going to be so i think it's only right that chopper be the one to take him down uh you know so let's see where we go like let's see how these matchups play out ors is the wild card what's what is this guy gonna do i don't know like just I think I'm quite happy, like, just let him run around with this, you know, bridge that he thinks is a pirate hat on his head. Let him just do what he's doing, guys. Just, we don't want any of that. We don't want none of that or smoke. He's too big, right? Way too big. Focus on these guys. Good plan. Let's go from there. But yeah, guys, if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has and comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.